What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy Timmy's the best, and I'm back with another episode of Punch Drunk 4, 1, 2, and Arrow the Truth. Spence just did something very interesting, but I ain't surprised, but y'all might be surprised. <laughs> but if you like content like this, hit that like, comment down below, and quit playing with me and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into it. Superstar boxing are in the reigning, defending, IVF and WBC world champion Errol the Truth Spence was recently offered a contract to fight against none other than the pretty good, pretty decent, looked okay in his last fight, former WBA and WBC champion Keith One Time Thurman. And I don't know if we should keep the one time on there because we don't see him fight that often. But Errol turned down the fight. The off PBC offered Errol Spence, you know, his next fight to be against uh, Keith Thurman. And Errol turned that down. Because we all know, real fight fans know who Errol's fighting next. And if y'all think it ain't happened, keep speculating. And I'll bet you any of y'all $500, Errol Spence's next opponent is going to be Terrence Bud Crawford. And nobody else already going to move up. He already said it. He's not interested in fighting Keith Thurman. You know why? This is why he's not interested in fighting Keith Thurman. Remember a couple years ago when Earl won the IBF title and he kept calling out Keith Thurman, calling out Keith Thurman, and Thurman was talking all that shit like, nigga, so Earl's on the shit like this, nigga, when Earl, when Keith Thurman was a top dog, remember, everybody wanted to fight him. Uh, Bud wanted to fight him. Earl wanted to fight him. He didn't want to fight those cats, bro. He told Bud, you need to get you a belt. He told Earl Spence, you ain't had enough fights, bro. Now Earl Spence is the top dog. And guess who come... That's who go come off a two-year layoff and a subpar fight, and then you come around the corner talking about, I'm, I'm next. Yeah. Surprise! No, you ain't, bro. Spence don't want nobody but Crawford next. You better pray Ugas, nigga, somehow, by some fucking miracle, pulls this fight out against Spence, which nobody see happening except the people, like, like directly in his corner. But true fight fans... No, if you don't have a, all the boxers who say Ugas is going to win, them is guys who just got a problem with Spence. But all real hardcore fight fans and people who like who's knowledgeable in the sport, we all know it's about to happen on Saturday night. It's going to be in a 10th, 11th round stoppage, bro. Like it's going to be a stoppage, bro. Did you see how 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 conditioned Spence is? He looked good. Ugas looked good too, but Spence looked bigger and stronger than I've ever seen him. So he ain't interested in fighting you, Keith. Back to the story, Keith Thurman, bro. You can't come out the world work now and think nigga the top dog is gonna fight you when you wouldn't fight him when you was the top dog, big bro. It don't work that way, bro. If you was willing to give him a shot when he wanted a shot at you when you was at the top of the division, bro, maybe things would be different now. But when you when when you had this shot at him, you you ain't wanna fight. You ain't want to fight. So he's like, fuck you, bro. I'm not fighting you either. I feel it. I feel it. Now, you can sit back and watch me, nigga, try to go for undisputed. But you ain't going to be part of that picture. Because I want nobody but Buzz. So you better try to go. So Keith Thurman, this is my advice to you, bro. You better try to send the contract over there to to, 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 to Bud. And, you know what I mean? Try to fight him real quick. And try to get in that conversation because Arrow ain't interested. And I don't, I, don't, I don't blame him at all. I agree, bro. Don't try to come fight me now when you ain't want to fight me then when you're at the top of the top of the division. Now you want to sit out for two years and try to come back and jump all in the conversation, bro. It don't work like that. You can't just force your way into the party. You got to earn your spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. You can't just come in here kicking doors and talk about I'm next. No, you ain't. Bud's next. We don't want to see nobody but Bud. We don't want to see you. Even if you did as Ugas won, somebody, like, like we'd still... But it, 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 it hurts us in a way because we've been waiting for this fight for years. So even if Ugas was to win, it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't have the same legacy. You know what I mean? Or, star, or, or like excitement or star power that a Terrence Bud Crawford or Errol Spence would have. Nothing could be. Nothing's bigger. And nothing can be made bigger than this fight. So ain't nobody interested in that. And neither is either or two of those great champions. So 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 uh, my my advice to you one time, like sit your ass back. Wait and see what happened, because I don't think you're going to get a chance to fight either one of them. Man. I think if Terrence win, he going to move up. If Errol win, he going to move up. So you're going to get a shot at either one of them, bro. So you better try to get at Boots or Victor Ortiz or one or, or, or Connor Ben or one of them young up-and-coming dudes. Because this shot at Errol, that came in past, bro. He ain't interested. And we ain't interested in seeing you fight like, comment, and subscribe. I have no interest in seeing Errol Spence fight you, bro. Yeah. Four years ago, I was interested when you was Keith one time. But you, you, take, them, I mean, you take them layoffs, bro. You take them layoffs, they be too long, and then the sport moves on without you. And that's what happened here. The sport moved on without you. Like, comment, and subscribe. But it's Timmy's the best. I'm Punch Drunk 412. More coming soon.